And we're back. And I learned what the deal with Chansey is. Chansey's a skittish Pokemon. I.e. it runs away. There are certain Pokemon that do that. If you catch up to them and press A on them, it starts a battle. And you can catch them. Like I did. There's a supposedly very rare glitch. Where... Thank you for the poison. No, Miracle Seed. Cool. There's a supposedly very rare glitch where skittish Pokemon can run off and disappear. Even after you put them in your fucking farm. Just get into the goddamn grass, Taylo. You two. Or, sorry, Taylor getting the flowers, you get in the grass. Shut up, Wingle. Y'all are being unreasonable. Soft feather four. Soul threat three. Brain melting at how to get to my campfire now. Bedding, I need this. I don't need it immediately, but I will need it. Eventually. Maybe after I cut all these trees down. Never mind. I was trying to figure out why the hell I had all the apricorns all of a sudden. That makes some more sense now. So the problem is I still don't actually remember what kind of biome this uh, Sudowoodo is going to like. So that's an issue. Get out of the way. This is a Sharpedo. And this is something I was hoping to show off earlier with the Wooper that I thought was a sharp video. So, you might have noticed that symbol above the heads of, for example, Floatzel, when you talk to it. And it spouts out some line about, it looks like it'll attack if provoked or something. Some Pokemon out in the wild just have that symbol. And they will just always attack you. And it's mildly irritating. As for- Ooh, Makuhita. You're not worth my time. But I see you. I acknowledge your existence. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. With Sharpedo, it doesn't matter, because Sharpedo can only attack you if you're swimming, surfing, whatever. However, there's a certain desert scorpion motherfucker that will pursue you to the ends of the earth. And it's annoying. A very, very annoying thing. Rocks. Smash. So, all rock types have rock smash. Sometimes rocks have Pokemon. It's a shelter. I'm sorry, shelter. We're not fucking with you today. Me and Sudowoodo are gonna dip. Rocks should always give you hard stones, and they'll sometimes give you the evolution stones. I should be more worried about you than I am, but I think you only have Ice Grip. I don't think you actually have a Water type attack. Now, hello, Dwebble. You are both a Rock and a Bug type. 
Now here's the thing about the Pokemon in this game. Is that... Hello? Hello, lag. That's weird. <sighs> Can you stop? I've never had this fucking high of an asshole rate. Go the fuck away, you asshole. And I've forgotten what I was saying. Well, I don't remember now. What are you? Oh, you're the Apom. I'm sorry, Apom. I'm still not adding you to the party. You're cool and all. You're a monkey. You have a weird hand for a tail. But I have other things I need more. Like that Eevee. Where the fuck's that Eevee at? You get in my party now. Uh, for some reason, Eevee can't do anything. Odd. I mean, it will be... It will get the ability to do stuff later. Once it evolves, so... Uh... I could grab the Moo Cows. But... I think I'd rather keep searching for that biome that I was wanting. But the biome that I'm looking for, and it's a very specific one I'm looking for. Hi, Fampy. Never mind. Hi, Kangaskhan. What are you doing trapped here? I remember what I was talking about earlier. But I'm going to hit the biome thing first. The reason I'm so specific about this biome is it has a really, really good Pokemon around. Is that an Abra? No, that has to be Drowsy, right? Yeah, it didn't look like a Drowsy from the position it was in. The reason I've been leaving the eggs out is because if you take from wild Pokemon, well, then they just get pissed off at you and, you know, try to murder you. If you take from your own Pokemon, they don't get mad, but then you still have to go through the issue of hatching the eggs and all that jazz. But the Pokemon that I'm searching for is one of a decent number that have a special way of dealing with eggs that don't get me attacked and let me god damn it and let me erase them from the game without having to bother hatching them if I don't want to Again, you dumbass, always go up. Now, the thing that I was starting to say before, before getting interrupted... Let's see, should be able to drop you. Okay, good, you're happy. There's some rules that are like guaranteed. Rock types have rock smash. Ground types have dig. F oh, that's so much handier. Large Pokemon will usually have ride. Or at least there's a decent chance of them having ride. Then there's some that just don't make sense. Such as a Rhyperior, Rhyperior that can fucking surf. Rhyperior can't fucking surf. 
but for some reason, Rhyperior in this game has Surf. Do I really want all of you? Because I don't want to have to keep coming back here, is the thing. If I drop you... Oh cool, a binding band. You are happy. Okay, uh, two spaces free? That works, I guess. And if I can be in this general vicinity, when nighttime comes, I'll get some more experience for Doduo fighting the ghost. Actually, now that I think about it, first things first, I have yet to save. I should do that. It has been over an hour. And for some reason, the saving always takes a long time. Hi, Masquerade. Yep, that's, uh... You're a tough one. You're an asshole. Don't kill me. Don't kill Okay, this just lowers my evasion. That's fine. No, you stop that. You stop that right now. No, no. Ah, you f fucking bug cunt. Sudowoodo, don't die. Also, don't get paralyzed or miss. Also, try not to kill it. Ah, you killed it, you fucker. I wanted that bug. It was a good bug. <sighs> Damn it. Betrayed by a pseudo-wudo. I really wanted that bug. We're gonna wanna use bugs. That didn't do much. Um, IVs and EVs don't exist in this. Two Kangaskhans are going to have the exact same stats. So, don't worry about trying to min-max your party. Fish died last time, and I already have one fainted Pokemon that I don't want to heal, that I know I have to heal. So the reason I wanted the Masquerade is because it was on the water, which means it can clearly swim. Or fly. One of those two. Which would solve a lot of my navigational issues. Either one of those. For now, we're heading back here. Uh-huh. 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 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go fuck yourself. direction I'm telling you to. Oh, Red Hat is skittish, I guess. Really? Red Hat and Banshee? Odd. You're a cunt. You're a scyther cunt, but you're still a cunt. Fuck you, can't escape. Procedurally generated means I can't guarantee that my biome is going to be anywhere near this. But it was last time I was in this. Fucking go away, Yanma. It's always a fucking single patch of grass. It's never any other fucking patch of grass. How do I get out of here? Station. It's doing that by the way. Again, it's only the single ones. Hi, Volby. Volby probably actually has that now that I think about it. It's not fucking Hound Doom, but it probably has that. We're not fucking with you, by the way, Volby. With your non existent fucking grass. Unfortunately, Corfish is not strong enough to take out the big trees yet. Yeah. If it was a Crawdon, it would. But I don't actually know when Corfish evolves into Crawdon. Leon? Interesting. It's the first time I've seen Kecleon around here. Arcanine. Houndoom. My appreciation. <gasps> it's a Noibat. <laughs> this isn't going to do very much damage. If it even does. But it can do a little bit of damage. That is the question. 
Well, I'll take it. A little bit of damage is better than no damage. Uh, we still have a whole bunch of level balls. Let's do it. Yes! <laughs> Behold the power of dragon! Oh, My other file. Ugh. My other file, I have Dratinis. And they're constantly giving me dragon supplies. Fuck you! Lying fucking cunt. So, uh, Houndoom, can you, like, get out of the way, please? No, seriously, Houndoom, get the fuck out of the way. Fine, I will make the path. Oh, right. My bad. I forgot I can't do it while I have to put one out. Well, now's as good a time as any to, uh, to get that Do Duo back. And let's check out Noibat. Nothing. Of course not. You are a flying type, though, so if I could just get you to level, you know, 60, so that you'll actually evolve. God, the fucking levels for the dragon types are always ridiculous. I don't think it's actually 60, but it's... It's high up there. I guarantee it. The point I'm trying to make is I'm pretty sure I'd be able to... Ride on it. If I could just get it evolved. God, this is... Suck an ass on Doduo. <sighs> well, while I wait, I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot that I actually have to go up over this way. how I get to that, what I'm pretty sure was an Arcanine. Fuck you, single pieces of grass. Get 
Volbeat, I'm still not fighting you. I have better shit to worry about. Uh, okay. Uh, I can take them now. I'm about to start murdering some fucking Rolfses. Stopping a fucking cunt, Scyther. 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 Wow, this Scyther just committed suicide. How smart of it. How smart of this Scyther to commit suicide for no reason. Completely unnecessary for it to commit suicide. But it did. Another Noibat. See, see, the Noibat knows the rules. Kill just because I'm pissed off. Uh huh. Fuck your scratch. Burn, freeze, and then lightning. Houndoom, get the fuck out of the way. Thank you. Now this time, while they uh, do the healing thing, I'm going to look up what Double Doduo evolves. Level 31. That's fine. 31, not bad. Corpus is even better. It's level 30. However, in this area, Corpus not as good as Doduo. For leveling, that is. Uh, follow. As long as you're following, you'll be the one that does the fighting. So... What's up, motherfucker? Oh, 
that's not actually true. Surprisingly. You, you gonna do it again? You gonna commit suicide again? You gonna fucking commit suicide again? It's what I thought, motherfucker. Fine. Actually switch then. Just gonna keep on fighting these fucking asshole Pokemon. Tringling has about as much defense as I expected. Really wish this Houndoom would get the fuck out of the way. Hi, Meryl. No, you forfeited your right to live. It's getting dark again. Now then. Ooh, I don't have a firestone for you yet though, so. While you have potential just by virtue of being a fire type. I have a fucking Pokemon that I really f***ing want that is in this goddamn grass. You're another potential. I would actually really like you, but... Wow. I actually feel a little bad for it. Not gonna lie, that would be really useful for catching Pokemon. I would be more pissed off about these constant encounters if not for the fact that I'm searching for a very specific Pokemon that is in this patch of grass, I know it's in this patch of grass, and it needs to fucking show up already. Another couple thousand experience, another level up for my Doduo. I don't recall Nidorina actually being worth that much experience. So I'm not willing to fight it. Taylor, I don't care about you. What's up, Pincher? Ah. 
Let's get level up. The duo, are you gonna evolve? Congratulations, try attack now makes sense. What? Weird. Whatever. Mm. Damn it! <laughs> Dodrio, you useless! The That's a breloom. That is a breloom. Breloom. Whatever. What's <sighs> well, gonna level up faster? Fucking female, or I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Good. Good. How do I not kill you? <laughs> Wasn't actually. I was not thinking about that. Ah, uh, how about. If we just start. chucking balls! It surprisingly works in this game. Yeah, look at that. We're all wanting to be friends. She is like the empathy Pokemon or something. Or Gardevoir, I think, is the empathy Pokemon. Something. Something like that. I've now accomplished what I wish to do there, so. Come, Dodrio. Let us ride off into the night, I guess. I don't actually have an area for psychic types. I don't know what their area is. I would assume it's just basic grass. A lot of the types are just basic grass, what they like. I think it's weird, but hey, more power to them. I know dark types, like pure dark types, it's basic grass. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, I'm just so scared of you. Ah, okay. So it does still have the can't be caught thing. This one I saw a video of somebody catching the ghost, but eh, must be wrong. That's fine. Makes sense that it's not catchable. It was never catchable in uh, red, blue, green, yellow, fire red. Li That's right. You get the fuck out of my way. Fire red, leaf green, Canto. Now, Lotad, I don't want to kill you. Okay? Can I just make that clear? I don't want to kill you. 
If you don't get the fuck out of my goddamn way, I'm gonna kill you. That, that, you're getting close. Come on. You can do it. No, you, you just forfeited your right to live. Oh, you motherfucker. Fine, 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 fine. Corfish. Stay here. Stay. Okay, low dead, low dead. Hear me out here. You're gonna stay here, and you're gonna fuck this... Weasel? Slotzel? Slotzel. Yeah, you hear me? You just, you stay there, and you fuck that Slotzel. Got it, Lotad. Ah. Thank you, Corfish. Whooper! It's so happy. It's weird that the Pokemon have been progressively getting stronger in this area. But whatever. Slam shouldn't do too much damage. It's a whooper. Still a whooper, but now I'm worried. <laughs> Kangaskhan's one of those Pokemon that it's weird that it just ups and joins you, and which I don't agree with. I I think that for larger Pokemon, like Kangaskhan, oh, different egg gets different Pokemon. Cool. Yeah, uh-huh. Yep. You're still in the way, though. Halo. Drop off to Drio. Take its soft feather. Okay, so Drio's happy just because there's uh, flowers then. Good, great. We're not gonna add Dodrio to the party, though. What we're gonna instead do is add Halo to the party. Cool. Yep, yep. Keep giving me the shit. Eevee. That's totally what I need from you. No, you don't. Eggs will never hatch out on the field. You have to actually pick them up. Right, Yanma is a flying type, it's giving me soft feathers. Makes sense, still kinda sucks. Mm, Taylor needs health. Unfortunately. I now have so much extra spider silk, I'm pretty sure, that I'm gonna craft a fishing rod, which I have not done before in this game. Do I not have a, how do I not have a silky thread?
Have they been giving me fucking soft feathers? Like assholes. They've been giving me soft feathers like assholes, haven't they? How rude. <sighs> fucking, fucking, fappy, fucking. Where did you come from? No, 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 no. Get off of there. Uh. Barfish. Kill an elephant. I actually feel bad about that. I like Bambi. But I was trying to get the ghost to spawn. Because even if uh, it was one that could actually attack and hit my normal types, Quarterfish and Noibad and Ralts would have, no matter what, been able to take it on, even if one or two of them died during the attempt. For now... Sleeping bag. And once again, I'm gonna start looking stuff up that I need to know. Like Noibat. For some reason, I think it's 48. I don't know why I think it's 48, I've never actually raised a Noiburn. But that's the fucking level that pops into my head. Oh my god, I was actually right. Noibat evolves into Noivern at level 48. It's always the esoteric stuff. Pokemon. Terrain, I guess. Habitat. Habitat is what it's called. Normal, electric, fighting, poison, psychic, dragon, and fairy types for basic grass, cursed soil, or dry soil environment tiles. Tall grass. Grass types like any type of tall grass which can be grown by the player on most environmental tiles with miracle seeds that can, in turn, be generated by grass types. Fire types like volcanic ash tiles which can be generated by digging a path for water and lava to meet and being near lava and or campfires generated using the build field move used by fighting types. Water types like deep water, water that requires surf to traverse. They also just like water in general. Trees, flying types like trees that can be planted with apricorns or berry seeds. Flowers, bug types like uh, flower environment tiles, also flying types like flower environment tiles. Uh, icy, ice types like snow environment tiles, those are made from never melt ice that can in turn be generated by ice types. Rock types like pre-existing rocks and statues built with build. They will not be happy with hard stones placed using dig, even if they do not get turned into ledges. Okay, interesting. Ground types like soft sand, which can in turn be generated by ground types, dry sand, and clay environment tiles. Ghost types like cursed soil environment tiles and gravestones, which can be made by a build. Either one can be used, it is not required to use both. Good to know. Dark types like any habitat that corresponds to its secondary type at night. However, if it is a pure dark type, then it requires basic environment tiles. Dark types are also not made unhappy if there are light sources like campfires, torches, or lava nearby at night. Steel types like light clay environment tiles. And then Dragonite line prefers water.
so yay relevant information I do need a ground type soon yes I know you're here Fampy I could just go grab a free one what do I not need technically I don't need the noi back right now I don't need the Noibat, so I don't, is that what I'd want to do? No, I want to put the Noibat down. The only problem is that pen's really small, so... But I don't want to relocate yet. That's the thing. I have a specific plan as to when to relocate. I have wing attack. Oh, wow. Um, hello. That's interesting, to say the least. Um, I don't have anything that actually resists that. Except for Rolf, but, like, if you're using Psywave, you're probably a Psyche. Rolf can't do anything to you, really. You know, I'll take a growl over an actual attack, I guess. Fight! Sideways, random damage. It hurts. Oh, you're all kinds of an asshole. Luckily, Kangaskhan ain't having none of your shit. Oh, please, that better not survive you. That better not let you survive. Okay, good. Yay! <laughs> Ow! Level 15, yay! Level 16, yay! Ow! That hurt a lot. Well, now it seems like a good time to finish this episode off. Part, whatever. I'm going to come back once they're fully healed. I don't want to do too much off screen is the issue. But I think if I just stay in this area and train up the Talo, it's not like you'll be missing anything. So when I come back, I'll... Oops. That's not what I intended to do. I'll come back to the Talo evolving, I guess. Probably. 